So it's like 7 in the morning, we're gonna get up, we're gonna go blueberry plucking, do some blueberry juicing, so we can live long and healthy lives, so we can get up early in the morning. Obviously, before we go, there's one thing that we have to figure out, and that's what to wear. Are we going to the ball? Maybe, but not today. This is it, found it. So here we are. This is real life proof, P for proof, that it's actually seven in the morning. Okay, let's go. Oh my God, somebody should really, really, really clean those windows. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm really actually much, much, much better than that. This never happens, okay, I promise. I'm actually a really, really, really good back rapper. I am. If there was ever a prize to be won for backing up, I probably would at least come third or something like that. Everybody now! You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Okay guys, so we're basically approaching this toll thingy that we have to pay to get up in the forest. That was easy. Is this really... Is this really the best way to do it? I mean, what if I was a dwarf? Made it. Okay guys, here we are in the beautiful forest. But there's one important rule that you always have to remember when blueberry plucking. And that is keep your spot a secret. So this is what you do. Let's just say, for example, that I have a secret spot over there where I know there's a lot of blueberries. And I actually know there is a lot of blueberries there. This is what you do. So you walk on a silly road and you stamp and stump and stamp and stump and stamp and stump a lot. So the blueberry chases over there, they think that you've been walking here. But what you do is actually this. This is a really, really difficult technique, but you will learn it. What you do is that you walk down and then you jump. 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 And then you hide. Another technique that is very popular as well amongst blueberry pluckers is the typical duck and cover technique. You duck and you cover. Okay, so before we go down to business, let's talk equipment. This is a blueberry plucker. Uh, it's made of steel and wood and you can get it in plastic and whatever. But the most important thing is the grip. It's very important to have your thumb on top and then do like this. And it's very important as well because we're going to go on for hours and hours and hours. It's very important to warm up. Do a little bit of warm up. Mmm, I'm feeling it. A little bit Jane Fonda warming up. Okay, so I'm going to do some blueberry plucking now. And while I do that, you go and wash your hands, all right? I'm blue, da da dee da da dum. Pluck the berry, taste the berry. Blue, 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 blue. And so it begins. Okay, guys, as you can see, we are being visited by natural predators of the Norwegian forest. These are not a threat to us as blueberry pluckers. If it was a bear, I would have to kill it. But this is not a blueberry sheep, so this one we can just let go. All right? The mosquitoes are killing me. I'm just gonna have to have a scratch break. <sighs> All right then, so this is the second to last one. And then we're ready to go. Hey Stan, did you eat half of the berries I plucked? What, what do you mean? No. Show me your tongue. No. Come on. Ah, okay then, so I did it. It's because I have a really, really, really brilliant idea. We're just gonna mix it up with my grandmother's black currant berries. And that would be even better than just normal blueberry juice. Okay, so let's go. Mental note to self. See if it's actually possible to be reincarnated as a blueberry. The beautiful thing about juicing berries is that you can basically mix whatever. So if you just have a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you just put it all together and it will be beautiful anyway. And so this is my grandma's bush. That sounds a bit weird. It's her black currant bush. <laughs> that sounds even weirder. But anyway, it's her, it's her bush. It's a berry bush. <laughs> so let's just do this. Basically, I just need half a bucket. So this is just going to be really, really quick. Alrighty, that's it then. I was just thinking about what I said about this being my grandmother's black currant bush. Obviously, that's just stupid because she's way too old to currently have a black bush. Berries? 